cannot turn on the TV without seeing at least one Kardashian or a Jenner. And today we have the woman behind the billion dollar clan, Momager, and my friend, Kris Jenner. Woo! Hi, everybody. Wow, great welcome. Thank you. I'll ask you, of course, about Kim, who mm -hmm. we all love. Um, how is she doing? I know that she went to Minnesota this weekend mm -hmm. to visit with Chris. Are they going to reconcile? Is that what's going on? You know, I don't know what that is all about, just that she really needed to talk to him. And I know they met with the pastor back there, and she's just trying to figure it out. So I'm not here to be her personal voice because yeah. I think that we're going to leave that up to her. But she's just trying to, um, you know, to do the right thing, follow her heart, and and she's she's going to be okay. Her it's a divorce. The, or you're not the first person to get a divorce, and you won't be the last, no matter how, you know, quick it happened. She's just trying to do what she feels is the right thing. So I have to respect that. I'm her mom. Yeah. All I can do is wrap my arms around her and make she, sure she's okay. And I'm I'm worried about her right now, and that she's going to be okay. Great example to set as a mom. You know, like most moms would be in there saying, "Why did you do this? Why did you do that?" Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, "I just have to love you. Whatever you make." as far as the decision goes, I have to love you. You know what, all we have in life is our family. All I have is my kids and my mom, and you know, and I've, I've, I've made some interesting choices in my life, as you read about in my book, and my mom set a great example because she was always there for me. And I mm -hmm. wouldn't be who I am until I've come through a lot of stuff and adversity and overcome things, and you pick yourself up by the bootstraps and you try again. Kim is a hopeless romantic, mm -hmm. so she wants the fairy tale. She wanted to get married and have babies and raise a family and the white picket fence and all that comes with that. And she's a really good person mm -hmm. with a huge heart. You know that. I do. And, um, you know, I just feel like whatever decision or decisions Kim is making right now, she's a very smart girl and she's going to do the right thing. Catch you by surprise? Of course it caught me by surprise. It's so fresh and... Um, anytime your your child makes a life-changing decision, you know, sometimes it's it's very surprising or shocking. And um, it's not the ideal situation. It's not how I expected things to happen for sure. Um, I wish that I would have um, been able to help her along with that, you know, from moment to moment, but I wasn't. So at this point, I can just let her know that she's loved beyond belief and that what, no matter what she decides, it's gonna be okay. So many reports about the ring and mm -hmm. Chris insisting on getting it back and then we heard that she might buy it back. Oh, what would God. you suggest to her? I think she's not focusing on jewelry right now. You know, I think she's just trying to get through this emotional time and I think there's so many false reports about anything money related. You mm -hmm. can't believe what you hear just because it's, or read because it's printed or you hear it on, on somewhere. There's so much stuff flo flying around that is inaccurate that I think we just have to take a deep breath, mm -hmm. you know, use our common sense, let the dust settle, and Kim will be able to tell us exactly what's going on. How do you stay so calm? I'm standing next to you in your energy, right? <laughs> do you guys feel that? She's just like, it's all good. We're gonna get through this. Kids and godchildren <laughs> that depend on me to make you know, really solid decisions. And when things get really crazy in my life and really like uh, dramatic, which is pretty yeah. much a daily occurrence, I have to just, okay, I have to go to a place, I pray about it, and then I say, give it to God, and I have my family, and calm down, and everything's gonna work out. It always does. So yeah. they need me to be strong for them so that they can be you know, show their emotions, go through. She needs to do what she's doing now and cry and figure it out or whatever she is doing, you know, and she's going to make the right decision for her heart, which she wears on her sleeve all the mm -hmm. time. She's a hopeless romantic. So just want my kids to be okay. But everyone, friends like you and um, fans and viewers have been so supportive. I was telling you earlier, it's been amazing from, you know, pretty much, um, everyone in our lives has been there and said, Kim, whatever you need, mm -hmm. we're there. But the fans have been amazing, and I just want to thank them because it, it really holds her up. Your reaction to the big SNL spoof this weekend. How do you take these skits? Do you laugh? Do you get annoyed? I mean, how do you handle that? Well, I think that what you have to do, like I said, is I never take myself too seriously. And you really, if you're in this business and you're putting yourself out there on a show that you're showing your whole life, 
you can you have to have a good sense of humor about yourself. All I can say is the girl that played me <laughs> got it spot on, <laughs> and I want her earrings. <laughs> you know, I think it's funny. You gotta laugh. It, you know, they're 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 making fun of us, and we get the joke. We're in yeah. on the joke. Yeah. We get it. I ask you about this. A rumor popped up on the blogs today that Courtney is pregnant. Is it true? You know what? There are so many silly things flying around. <laughs> not that I know of, but I can absolutely tell you this. I am not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Your son Rob is in the final five on Dancing with the Stars. I know. <laughs> he is doing such a good job. Are you surprised or did you know he could do this? I'm shocked. He could not put two steps together before he started this journey. I'm so proud of him. I, I, he's amazing.